Hey guys, I've got a question of the reaction constant K at 25 degrees Celsius and 55 degrees Celsius are 0 0.0025 per mole per second and 0 0.049 per mole per second respectively. Okay, so we've got to calculate the EA. Okay, so calculate EA. Let's write down everything we know. So, temperature is in degrees Celsius is 25 and 55, okay? So, we need to know what the temperature is in Kelvin. So, temperature in Kelvin is, so 25 plus 273 is 298 and for 55 degrees is 328. Okay, so now we need to know what the reciprocal temperature is. So it's K minus one. So to calculate that you go one minus 298. So one minus 298 is 3.36 times 10 to the power of negative three. And then for 328 is 3.05 times 10 minus 3. Okay, so we're going good so far. So we also know what the rate is. So, so for the first one it's 0 0.0025, for the second one it's 0 0.049 in moles per second. Okay. Natural log of the rate to calculate the y-axis. So natural log of 0 0.025 is negative 5.99 and natural log of 0 0.049 is negative 3.02. Okay, so Remember your slope is dy dx, okay? So slope equals dy divided by dx, okay? Nice and easy. So let's just fill in dy dx, okay? So so it's negative. 3.02, so this one here, and we're working out the difference between them. So difference between this and this, so negative 5.99. And you wanna divide that. So that's all one sum. And then you wanna divide that by the difference between these. So same order again, so it's 3.05 times 10 to the power of negative 3 minus 3.36 times 10 negative 3 again. Okay, so that equals 2.97 divided by 3.1 times 10 to the power of negative four. So dividing that, and we get negative nine five eight zero point six five. Okay, um, this has a unit of K negative one. So we've got what the slope is. So to get to the activation energy, we know that, that the slope equals negative activation energy divided by the gas rate constant. Okay, so we've already got the slope, so we can just go around and fit this in, and we know that the gas constant is 8.314 joules per mole per Kelvin. Okay, so let's just switch this in. E, A, let's move this up a bit, equals nine, 
0.65 times the gas rate constant, which is 8.314 equals 7.9653 and it's so this is in Kelvin minus one and this is joules per mole per Kelvin so then this makes it just joules per mole okay so the activation energy equals approximately 80,000 joules or 80 kilojoules per mole okay so if we have a question where it asks us to calculate the rate at a different temperature all we need to do is we know our slope equals dy divided by dx and dx equals the first temperature uh, second temperature sorry the second temperature divided minus the first temperature divided by one for both of them okay so dy equals sorry I should have said this so dy dx so slope and then it equals activation energy divided by the gas constant okay so dy equals the ac negative activation energy so it was 80,000 kilojoules per mole okay so divided by the gas constant which is 8.314 per joule mole Kelvin um, by the two temperatures okay which was uh, times by the two temperatures which was um, 1 over 312 and minus 1 over 298 okay so dy equals 9622 Kelvin minus 1 so these two joules per mole cancel each other out times 0 or oh, sorry 1.5 times 10 to the negative 4 which equals 1.4433 okay nice and simple so we've got what dy equals we know how to get to um, dy so now we need to figure out what the rate was that gave us dy okay so dy equals sorry y2 minus negative 5.99 remember that's the log of the um, the rate at 25 degrees okay so y2 equals dy which is 1.4433 plus negative 5.99 equals y2 which is negative 4.5 so we know that's the log so if we calculate back we can work out what the rate is okay so if we go e negative 4.55 it equals 0 0.011 moles per second minus one okay easy piece of cake so this is the initial rate at 39 degrees.